Hey, what's up my friend? Today I have a simple sex tip for you. It's, it's incredibly, incredibly simple, but when I explain it to you, I think you're gonna see just how, it's self-evident how incredibly powerful it is. It's a, a simple psychological technique that you use in the bedroom and it makes your woman come much, much faster and much more powerfully and um, it solves that issue of being with a woman who takes forever to have an orgasm and sometimes you can't last long enough to make that happen. So here's the deal. When it takes a woman a long time to have an orgasm, it's just as frustrating for her as it is for you. And that gets her frustrated, gets her out of her head, it gets her out of her arousal. I, uh, I read recently, which I find non-credible, uh, it certainly does not match up with any of the studies that I've done personally. Uh, not that my studies are super scientific, but uh, I read recently that women take on average 20 minutes uh, from the beginning of sex to reach an orgasm. Now, what's not super clear in that particular study is if that's like with constant intercourse or if that was like including, you know, 18 minutes of foreplay and two minutes of intercourse, which maybe sounds more likely to me. But nevertheless, it's at 20 minutes of sex and uh, evaluate that as you will. I know that there are some women who take an awfully long time who you really need to have uh, quite a bit of endurance to make her reach orgasm. And this technique is gonna turn that on its ear. Here's the simple truth is, if a woman is super highly aroused, like she's on a scale of one to 10, she's aroused to 9.9, .9, then if you just go on her clitoris, she's gonna have an orgasm, all right? The problem is, for these men that are taking 20 minutes to give a woman an orgasm is that her arousal level really never got to where it needed to be. Now, this isn't necessarily on the men. This isn't because, well, he just doesn't know how to, you know, he doesn't have my awesome revolutionary sex skills, link to ebook. He doesn't have the, uh, the skills necessary to uh, bring her to arousal. Um, not necessarily what's going on. Very often it's, it's her insecurities, it's her self-critical voice, it's her concerns about uh, all of her anxieties in her life. You know, um, is my job secure? Or, you know, was something about the kids if you're married? You know, her whole day is on her, right? There's all this other stuff on her mind. Or, you know, you just met her. Oh, does he think I'm a slut? Does he like my breasts? Does he notice that one is bigger than the other? Does my vagina smell weird? So women are riddled with insecurities just like men. And the analog, the thing to really give men access into what it's like inside of a woman's head when she's trying to have an orgasm is almost a perfect analog to male performance anxiety when a man can't get an erection because he's putting too much pressure on himself. So, you know, virtually every man has experienced that time when he's with a woman and he's super hot for her, he thinks she's beautiful and he's so excited to be there, but for some reason, his dick won't get hard. And then he starts thinking about it. He's like, oh no, does she notice? What am I gonna do? This is the fourth time it happened this week, if it's with your wife. And that nervousness then becomes a loop and the next thing you know, you can't get an erection. Same thing for her. It's been five minutes, I haven't had an orgasm yet. Oh my God, is he gonna come soon? And then he's gonna be disappointed. Then I'm gonna have sad sack husband going, oh, do you think I'm a wimp? And like all the weird shit that results from, I didn't have an orgasm. And now she's in her head over it just like we get in our head over erection. So here's the little ninja trick, so simple, but such a ninja trick to get her to stop thinking about that, to get her aroused quickly and bring her to a fast orgasm. And if she would have a fast orgasm anyway, it'll make it into a more powerful, uh, more intense orgasmic experience. <laughs> it's so ironic, slow down, slow down to speed up, slow down to speed up. What this means is that as you are getting her more aroused, whether this is in foreplay or intercourse, and you feel her arousal notch up, right around the time when she'd start going, okay, uh, don't think other thoughts, try and come now, you know, like she starts getting into her little anxiety loop, you back off and say, no, no, not yet, not yet. What's your hurry? And then take a little more time to just enjoy what you enjoy. Don't try to make her orgasm. And if she becomes increasingly aroused, kind of slow down. This is um, exactly analogous to teasing, right? This could be teasing. Let's say we, we weren't 
having this conversation, that she can come, no problem. As she's about to come and you just slow down and back off a little bit, ah, uh -uh, not yet. And then you start hitting the rhythm again and she's getting more and more excited, ah, 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 back off, not yet. And by doing that, she gets kind of more frustrated and her arousal level grows. That's, you know, your standard tease, but you can do the same thing and say, no, I'm not done yet. I don't, I'm not trying to make you come yet. I'm just uh, enjoying this moment. Let's say you're, you're going down on her and instead of like kind of getting into that rhythm, uh, and by the way, I'll, I'll link to one of my videos on oral sex here, just in case uh, that's, a, <laughs> that's a sticking point for you. And maybe uh, I'll also link to one of the uh, videos on lasting longer. Uh, here or, or in the comments below. Um, but uh, if, you're, if you're going down on her and there's a, there's a rhythm that you've got going and you can feel her arousal growing and growing and growing, to just stop and back off a little bit and just kind of give her some kisses down there and just kind of enjoy the taste of her and the feel of her. And by backing off a little bit, by letting her know that no, you're not racing to give her an orgasm, you release her, you release her from this thing of, oh, okay, he wants me to come now. Oh, I get it, he's, 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 he's you, know, uh, you know, fucking me hard now, he wants me to come now. And, and he's going faster, he's really trying to get me there, right? And then she gets into this place in her head, release her from that by kind of backing off a little bit and stroking her a little more and then slowing down and letting her know that you're in no hurry. You're in no hurry, you're just enjoying it. And then that, that makes her stop thinking that and go, oh, oh, he's kind of teasing me a little bit. He's being naughty. He's, he's slowing down. Oh, this is just about enjoying the sensual delight of it. This isn't about orgasm. And as soon as it's no longer about orgasm, just like for a man, as soon as it's no longer about erection, she can just lay back and enjoy the ride. And then she's getting more aroused and then you're kind of teasing back a little bit and she's getting more aroused again. And she's not thinking about orgasm. She's leaning back a little bit and this is kind of fun. And then she's getting a little more aroused and then you can go ahead and give her an orgasm. It'll happen super fast. And if this whole thing takes 20 minutes, you're doing it wrong, all right? This is, it, it's so simple to kind of set this up very early as you're arousing her and get her out of her head and get her into, this is just sensual, this is just fun, this is just teasing, we're just enjoying it, we're not uh, destination driven right now. And as soon as you pass that signal along by just going, hey, 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 relax, slow down, either with your words or with the things that you're doing, it gives her permission to drop out of her head and into her body, and then it's super easy to get her aroused, super easy to bring her to a faster and more powerful orgasm, or even uh, multiple orgasms, which, um, again, uh, if you don't have my uh, ebook, uh, <laughs> you're missing out on some of that fun, because. These things are not difficult. They're super easy. They, they all revolve around these, these little psychological tricks that when you know them, when you understand what it is she's thinking, you understand where her emotions are, where her thoughts are, it's super simple to lead her body into a, a, a more powerful place of higher arousal and, you know, better connection as lovers. So uh, check that out and I will talk to you soon in the next video.